Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on my October favourites. I did a poll and asked you guys what you wanted to see. October favourites won by a landslide. So I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. This is the first time I've ever done an October favourite, so it's all very exciting. First up, I'm going to start with skincare. I've seen monthly favourites from lots of people in the past, and they tend to do everything that they're enjoying. So I felt like I would definitely do, like face and body and see what you guys enjoyed and then if you wanted me to start expanding it to other things then just let me know in the comments down below but as it's the first one i thought i'd do skincare hair care and body care so the things i'm loving in skincare are plentiful i'll probably start with this because it's the biggest thing in my hand um so this is the garnier ultimate ultimate blends body restoring lotion honey treasures this is really really nice um, I love the smell of it. It's a very lightweight cream, but it is very moisturizing. It's for very dry skin, which is what I tend to go for when I see things. Like, I tend to go for like dry or very dry because then at least I know it's gonna like last a day and actually moisturize my skin. Um, some moisturizers or lotions, when they're like too lightweight, they just like soak up in two seconds and I just feel like I haven't got anything on. So this is really nice. I like the fact that it's got a pump as well, which is very good. I like the scent of this. It's really nice, it's kind of creamy, milky honey scent another thing i'm loving at the moment which isn't necessarily new to me it's something i've had in my collection for a very long time and i dip in and out of it depending on how my skin's doing but i've used this all of october pretty much this is the ren ready steady glow daily aha tonic it is an exfoliating toner it has uh, willow bark to encourage cell renewal, lactic acid to gently exfoliate, and it has azelaic acid to brighten skin. It is one of those toners that you probably should be using an SPF in the day for, and I don't really use this in the evening because I tend to use like a retinol in the evening, and I don't use this when I've used like a vitamin C. Um, but when I'm not using any of those things, I use this in the morning. It just gives me fresh new baby skin, and I tend to look just a lot better than I did before I used it. I'm pretty sure I used to have one that had like a push down pump, but this one doesn't. Um, I much prefer the one with a push down pump, uh, but this one is the same product, so it is good. I've almost finished. As you can see, when I finish this, I'll probably go back to my Pixi Glow Tonic. They're very similar. I just feel like this one's a bit less harsh and actually does a better job of just like brightening my skin. Uh, but they're both like very similar anyway, so not a huge difference. And it's also like a clean beauty brand as well, so I do like to support Ren. They have a lot of great products I really like, so. This is from Ren. Next up in skincare is a plug for myself. This is The Mist, which I have spoken about in the past. I have actually reformulated it since I first showed you guys it. It now has a lot less ingredients because it was a bit too herbal and a bit too floral and a lot of people I sent it to said it needed to just be taken down a notch. Now this formula is absolutely perfect. It's very lightweight. I use this as a spray toner, but you can also use it as a cotton pad toner as well. Comes in a very chic glass bottle and um, smells very nice. It's got, mm, I can't tell you too much, but it's got rose water in it and it's got two other ingredients that are really good for reducing like acne and also one for brightening the skin as well. So it's a really good all-in-one mist and I made it. Next up on my list is a product that I actually bought because I was just trying to find like a really nice budget friendly retinol because retinols tend to like be a huge splurge and I was trying to see if there were any good ones that weren't like 70 pounds and I found this from the Inky List. It is their retinol. It's a very lightweight retinol and I think they have since released a more heavyweight retinol. But I really like this one. It's a really good way of getting yourself back into retinol if you haven't used it or starting off on retinol if you haven't used retinol before. It's a really good starter retinol. But I really like it. It is 30 mils so it's a really big size. All of the other ones I've bought in the past have been like minis. They are all very good but they tend to be like 1% retinols which are very strong. And um, especially if you haven't used a retinol in a while or before, it's good to start with like a lighter weight one. I don't even think it tells me the percentage of this, it's that light. But with a retinol you only are supposed to use it in the evening and I tend not to use anything acidy, so like no glycolic acids, no vitamin C's or anything like that. Some people's skin can tolerate it but my skin's very sensitive and it cannot. So. I just use this and then my moisturizer, which I'm gonna reveal in a second, and they are like the perfect combo together. So this is a really good really good retinol. I have actually stepped up since then. I just purchased the Paula's Choice one, the mini, just to see if it's good before I like really invest in it. 
um and so far that's really good it is quite strong so and i think it's given me breakouts but it's a good retinol so far but this is a great style for retinol super super affordable um not the most sexy packaging not the most like handy packaging but a very very handy price and a good product next up this is a product i got last last winter and i actually used it for a little while but i didn't really take to it that much but actually when i was transitioning from summer to autumn i found this such a good cream and i've pretty much finished it now i'm very sad about it but this is the oscar london rest day comfort cream gives microbiome and barrier support this has lots of prebiotics in it um, lots of amino acids and ceramides and it's supposed to just kind of fill out the skin plump up the skin and really help rebuild those skin cells and i find this so nice especially when i use it with like a retinol it's very moisturizing without being like too moisturizing next up on my skincare is the 111 skin eye mask is actually one of my favorite eye masks I just love the packaging. I love the meta metallicness of it. I love how they look. They're all very chic. Uh, this is the rose gold one, which I have repurchased many times. They're quite pricey. They're twelve pounds each. But the one I actually used this month, which I really really liked, was the black one. I think it's called the Celestial Diamond one. That one's really cool because it's like black under your eyes. It makes you feel like very edgy when you're about to go to an event. Um, the pink one is also amazing, but the black one was really really good. Obviously, I don't have it anymore because I didn't just save the packaging. But yeah, really, really like these. They really revive under my eyes, especially because I get like very dark circles and like tired eyes. Um, and they tend to be the thing that pokes through my makeup first. Uh, these are really, really good. They're very expensive and they're not sustainable at all because they are completely disposable. But if you are feeling a bit naughty, then it's a good product to purchase last but not least on a face i've got two more things i've got this serum which actually i used to love more than i love it now i feel like this is a good summer serum going into winter i'm not really sure it's hitting in the same way but it is a very good summer serum and i have been using it all autumn um it's actually my second bottle so i can't say it's not a favorite um this is the la roche posay highlight Hylou serum b5 It is a good anti-aging serum because it hasn't been hitting in the same way I've been wanting it to and like my old school Murad one did I've been using this which I got from typology ages ago I think it was like a gift um, this is a vitamin C serum actually it's an 11% vitamin C I don't really love vitamin C that much because I find it very strong for my skin but I just put the smallest drop into my hand with this and they work together really well this kind of brightens up my face this hydrates it and together they're a really good combo and a really afford well this is very affordable this isn't that affordable but for a serum it's affordable this is like 38 pounds most serums are like 60 70 plus god knows why <laughs> only god knows why um and the beauty industry um but this is like super cheap and they work together really well so if you are looking for like a nice mix and matching kind of thing then these two are really good this also works really well with like very strong retinol so if you've got like a one percent retinol and you're trying to like water it down a little bit or just kind of buffer it a little bit then this is really good as well because it's very plain just simple hyaluronic acid there's nothing too funky about it um which i did like and don't love as much but still do like so i like both of these that was a long-winded way of saying i like them going into hair from skin i one of you guys asked me about my hair routine which i found really shocking because most of the time i come on here with my hair looking insane and if you've been watching my channel for a long time you've seen my hair do a lot of that and a lot of like where's all her hair gone why is it so dry what has she done i thought i would include some hair stuff um as you guys might know i really love olaplex i tend to just use olaplex because when i go too wacky on my hair things go awry i do use a purple shampoo um in between salon appointments uh but the things that i've been loving this month that have been my absolute lifesavers have been the olaplex number six bond smoother this is like a leave-in conditioner i really like it it's just very 
Um, it's always good, it never lets me down, it's chill. They are expensive, they are small, but you don't actually have to use that much, and I have to remind myself of that a lot. But it's really nice, it's good, it just does a good job, and I like it. Next up, the thing I have probably bought about 13 bottles of in my life, maybe 15, maybe 20, is the Olaplex Number no. 7 Bonding Oil. My favourite hair oil, especially when my hair has just been done and I don't want anything too heavy on it if I've just had a blow dry. After about day three, I tend to pop in this and start using it daily until about week two, week three when it starts to look a bit interesting and it's just not accepting anything else and then I just start messing around with it. But uh, the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil is the only thing I use um, on my hair for like the first two weeks when it's just been freshly blow dried because it doesn't add any weight to it um, but really does just kind of loosen up the ends so they don't get too knotty or too dry. As some of you guys might know and my sister reminded me is that um, breakage always happens in the ends so if you can keep the ends moisturised then most of the time your hair will stay on your head and that is my main goal in life to keep my hair on my head. Next up is makeup and the thing I use every time I do my makeup unless I've very very um unusually forget is primer and this is my favorite primer it is the laura mercier pure canvas Pri primer in hydrating i did dabble in the perfecting one but i just don't like it as much this is definitely the best one just makes my skin look fresh healthy hydrated youthful amazing it is silicone free which is also great this is a little tester i bought when i was weaning myself off the hydrating and moving into the perfecting perfecting and i'm weaning myself back into the hydrating so once i finish this i will repurchase a big bottle but i may actually buy the dior one because dior have just or they are just releasing very soon a hydrating primer which i saw on I think it was on Trend Mood or one of those beauty news channels, Instagrams, and I'm very, very intrigued by this. I'm a bit nervous because the only Dior primer I bought, the Dior Backstage one, just mattifies me and it's not my jam, but that one looked really, really nice, so I'm tempted to buy it. Um, so if I don't repurchase that, this, I'll repurchase, I'll purchase that and do a video on it and let you guys know. Let me know if you care about primers, if you want to see that primer when it launches, and if it's doing what it is to you that it is to me. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Next up are eyeshadows and for the month of October, even though I really love that Rose Ink Duo, which I do really like, I've only used it twice. So I think it's a bit a bit misleading to say it's a favorite because I've only used it twice. And one of them, one of those times was today. Two of my favorite eyeshadows for this month have been two OGs. One OG that is not new to me and one OG slightly OG that is new to me. Um, the new to me one is a Natasha Denona Mini Bieber palette. got in at Sephora in Italy in Rome and um, I said I was going to do a video I did actually film it but it was really bad the lighting was really bad I was sitting on this chair everything was really low it was just horrific so I decided not to put it up but if you do still want that video or you want me to do like a catch-up perhaps I could do it in a vlog or something like that but anyway this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette I've always wanted the Bieber palette and just it felt like too much time had passed for me to get it and do a video on it so I didn't get it but I felt like this mini one was very cute and I do like her like little mini um five pan palettes they do tend to be really good and this does not disappoint I really like the two brownish ones at the end and I like both of these kind of light pink shades although they're basically the same shade so it's kind of like pointless but I do like both of them and I do like the glitter in the middle but it's a really nice palette it's not the most groundbreaking thing in the world but I just liked I, I love soft browns and like soft reddish browns and if I can find more soft reddish browns I'm gonna get them so I got this it's cute it's nice nothing groundbreaking but very handy and something I reach for quite a lot and next and lastly in my eyeshadow quads or palettes or mini eyeshadows is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Dreams Luxury Eye Palette I 
actually like this one I tried it. I thought it was okay and then I just kept reaching for it over summer end of September all of October pretty much I was reaching for it especially at the beginning and I went to like a work conference and I was using it every day and I felt like it was my jam so I really really like this I like using all four shades I tend to kind of start with this on the edge go in the middle with this and at the inner corner go in with a mixture of these two and then blend it all out with these two again it's very simple but it's a very nice charlotte tilbury pillow talk color scheme it's just very like warm flattering every skin tone it looks good on it looks good on my skin tone and i really like it so one of those slow burners she has a lot of slow burners things that you think okay it's fine or it's it does a good job and you don't really value it when you first try it or i don't really value it when i first try it and then i just keep reaching for it keep reaching for it and realize it's just like a staple in my collection so this has actually become a staple in my collection rather surprisingly wasn't expecting that but very happy to make use of things i already have so this is one of those things something that is something that is probably pointless for me to say because everyone knows it's well if you've watched watched any of my videos you'll know that this is my favorite but the charlotte Til charlotte tilbury pillow talk intense lip pencil is my absolute favorite lip pencil it's the thing i use every single day unless i'm being like wacky i just wanted to give it a shout out because i love it so much and it's just the best and this is a mini version i've already got a backup one sitting in my cupboard waiting for this to run out so just wanted to shout that out couldn't say couldn't have a favorites without my ultimate favorite so that's the charlotte tilbury pillow talk intense lip liner another summer favorite that has kind of eased its way into autumn very seamlessly is the laura mercier tinted moisturizer blush got this i thought it was really nice but i didn't expect myself to ever use it again and i've used it pretty much every day since it is so nice it works so well on top of cream bronzer they just are the perfect partner whatever cream bronzer i have charlotte tilbury uh say uh glossier literally every single cream bronzer i have this just sits on top of so nicely and they all give it some depth because it is quite a light shade but it's really really nice and it really just does everything i want it to it's just perfection. I just use a little squeeze in the back of my hand and dab it in on my cheeks. I probably should use some other things in my collection, but I keep using this because it's so good. And it's an unexpected fave. Next up is lipsticks. And I have two lipsticks that have been my favorites for this month. One is kind of snuck in because I think I've actually only been using it for like two weeks, but I've been reaching for it pretty much every day. It is the Glossier Generation G in Fuzz. It's really nice it's matte it's light i don't really i still layer other things on top of it so i just don't really see the point in it i still use it every single day so i really really like it um really nice simple inoffensive perfect product for me perfect shade for me just love it very much mattified gorgeousness another lipstick that has been my go-to and this has actually been my go-to since i bought it it is the dior uh rouge dior forever matte i think it was called forever nude style forever matte the new matte one that's in the black packaging all black apart from like this little silver bit here This is in the shade 300. Apparently it wasn't a new shade, but I really, really love discovering this. 100 is my absolute favorite nude, but this is such a more, it's a much more wearable brownie nude and it just wears really well throughout the day. It kind of stays put more than anything else. It's the least drying matte lipstick I have that's like a staying put matte lipstick, if that makes sense. The NARS one is really good, but it is a bit drying. The Generation G is really good, but it is a bit drying. This one is really good and it doesn't feel drying. So I really, really like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous product. I love the matteness. I love the blackness. It's very cool. It's very glam. It's very rock and roll, but it actually does a good job and is in the perfect shade for me. So I'm really, really impressed with this and I reach for it every day. If I don't have it in my bag, I feel a bit sad. So such a good product and highly recommended. So I've got two things left. One of them is uh, from one of my friends. Her brand is called Bella and this is the Wonderlash Mascara. It 
it is very very good it's a very lengthening volumizing mascara i have it on today i actually have kind of four Saken all of my mascaras, my favourite MAC Lash, which I was loving. Is it called MAC Lash? I don't think it's called MAC Lash. So it is very good. Uh, really great if you have short lashes or any lashes um, that need mascara. So I like it a lot. And last but not least is the Hourglass Tiger Palette. I actually really like this palette. I don't use a lot of it very often, but the one thing I do use all the time is this this highlight here, which is the nose highlight. I also really like this orange blush and this copper highlight and the brown bronze shades too. So I tend to like go in for this and then kind of dabble around in some of the other things. I've got a lot of it on today. I probably got a bit too much of everything on. I love the tin. I love that it's tiger printed. I think that's probably one of my favorite things. It's just really nicely done. The whole package is really nicely done. I do feel like this shade is a bit of a wasted shade for me, but I do think the rest of it really makes up for it. So I really, really like it. I think it's so gorgeous. And yeah, it's one of my October favourites. Let me know if you want to see November favourites, December favourites. Do we like the favourites? Do we want to keep doing the favourites? Let me know in the comments down below. Will you be buying anything? Will you be trying anything? Do you like the look of these? Let me know what you've been enjoying this month. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.